My name is Amber Mulhagen. I'm the Director of Admissions and Student Affairs at the University of Houston Graduate College of Social Work. I'm glad to be able to introduce myself to you today and to share some good information with you. We're very excited about you starting this fall. Welcome to the Graduate College of Social Work. My hope is that this orientation isn't just um, a source of information, which I hope you do get a lot of good information out of it, but also helps facilitate the beginning of a long relationship with the college, uh, not just for the next few years, but extended into your professional careers. Many of our graduates continue their affiliation with the college as active alumni and field supervisors, adjuncts, participants in our CU program. There are many ways to stay involved. So for the next 10 to 15 minutes or so, I'll be sharing some of the history and traditions of the University of Houston and the Graduate College of Social Work, sharing some of our stories um, to help you with your transition to becoming a student. Uh, University of Houston was founded in 1927. It began as Houston Junior College by the Houston Independent School District. It was originally located in the San Jacinto High School building, now part of the Houston Community College campus, with just 12 faculty, some of which were on loan from Rice University. One of the early contributors to UH was a man named Hugh Roy Cullen, an industrialist and philanthropist in the Houston area. Um, many street buildings and streets, when you come to visit campus, you'll see are named for the Cullen family. And as I understand it, Hugh Roy Cullen felt like the, un the city of Houston needed a university for the working person. There was already another university, uh, Rice University, which you may have heard of, uh, but it was small and not as accessible. And uh, it was really some of his efforts that led to the founding of U of H. In 1934, this originally named Houston Junior College became a four-year university and was housed at a couple different churches around town, including Second Baptist Church and South Main Baptist. Philanthropists J.J. Sedigus and Ben Taub donated land, and Hugh Roy Cullen donated the funds for the first buildings, all which are now our permanent main campus location. University of Houston opened, as you see the picture here, in 1934. To this building, the E. Cullen Building, was added in the late 40s, I think it opened in 1950, and is one of the central buildings on campus. Today it houses the President's Office, as well as other central administration offices, and it also is the location of GCSW commencement. So even if you're not able to get to campus before um, school ends, hopefully you'll be participating in our commencement ceremony in this very building. This building, as well as other buildings on campus, are known for its Art Deco style. Here's another picture of the E. Cullen building, one of my favorites because of the, the cars. You can really see the time in which um, it began. Today, the University of Houston campus is one of four campuses of the UH system. This particular campus has just under 41,000 students. We have 139 master's program, 54 doctoral programs, and three professional degree programs. Students come to University of Houston from all over the world. At last count, we had students from 137 different countries. University of Houston is consistently ranked as the second most ethnically diverse research institution in the U.S. That diversity is reflected in all colleges, including the MSW program, and you'll see that and benefit from that in the classroom. The UH system, which I just mentioned, uh, was established in 1977, and it includes four institutions, University of Houston, UH Clear Lake, UH Downtown, and UH Victoria. We also have several off-campus centers, including one at UH Sugarland, where we recently expanded the MSW program. Dr. Renu Couture, about whom I'll share more in a couple slides, is both the president of UH as well as the chancellor of the UH system. University of Houston Sugarland was founded in 1995. The MSW program was expanded to this campus in 2015. The social work classes are held in the George Building, um, one of the main buildings at the UH Sugarland campus, and is named for another philanthropy family, specifically in Fort Bend County. For some of our UH traditions, UH's mascot is a cougar, Shasta. 
The university began the tradition of housing a live cougar on its campus in 1947 and continued until 1989 with five different live cougars during that time. The practice was ended by Dr. George Magner, the interim president of UH at the time, and also a social worker. He had some concerns about keeping a live cougar on campus. Now we have a costume cougar, often accompanied by a partner, Sasha, as well as a partnership with the Houston Zoo where UH sponsors the cougar exhibit and Shasta now lives. UH students, for this reason, can visit the Houston Zoo for no charge. You'll have to know the cougar sign now that you're a UH student. The story behind the sign is that in 1953, the cougar, Shasta, lost a toe in his cage on the way to a football game with UT Austin, for which UH was mocked with this sign. UH students turned the mocking into a sign of pride resulting in our adoption of this particular sign. UH's colors, red and white, stand for courage and the good of helping one's fellow person, a good fit for social work. And UH has multiple cheers, for one of which, when you hear whose house, you respond with Coog's house. Dr. Renu Couture joined University of Houston in 2008 with a specific goal to reach tier one status for the university. Dr. Couture was born in India and has a master's in political science and a PhD in political science and public administration from Purdue University. Dr. Couture is the first foreign-born president of the university, the second woman to hold the position, the first woman chancellor of UH, and the first Indian American to lead a major uni research university in the US. And she met her goal in 2011, the Carnegie Foundation provided us with the status of tier one, elevating UH to the top category of research institutions. UH has also received a number of other awards and acknowledgements, including awards from top American uni research universities and Princeton Review. The Graduate College of Social Work began in 1967 and will have just under 500 students this fall with a master's program and a small PhD program. We also house an undergraduate nonprofit certificate program, the Nonprofit Leadership Alliance, in which there are around 100 students. We don't have undergraduate BSW programs at the main campus, but there are two BSW programs within the UH system. The Graduate College Social Work started small in a World War II Quonset hut and has been housed in multiple buildings over the years, but has been in its main building since the 1980s. We started out with just one floor in the, in the current building and over time have populated all four floors with the exception of two large auditorium rooms on the first floor. Our building includes spaces for staff, faculty, research centers, and classrooms. Here's a picture of our faculty and our 2015 commencement. And here's really the goal for each of you. This is our graduating class from 2016. We have over 3,000 alumni working in Houston as well as around Texas and even in across the United States, covering at least 48 states and several different countries. Our alumni association is very active, supporting students as well as the community. <laughs> I hope that some of you are able to come to campus for our open house and reception in August and that you'll be able to see some of these buildings and learn more about us at that time. If you're not able to come then, please let us know when you're on campus and we're glad to show you around at any time. It was a pleasure speaking with you and we look forward to you starting with the Graduate College of Social Work.